UC Davis has built a unique facility at its Bodega Marine Laboratory. Equipped with fresh seawater at just the right temperature, some of the best kelp the area has to offer, and lights, so they go on and off as the sun rises and sets in Southern California. All of this in the name of romance. <laughs> yes, UC Davis is the match.com for white abalone. <laughs> UC Davis is playing matchmaker for the white abalone as it tries to repopulate the endangered species, which is no longer reproducing in the wild. So, so the white abalone, uh, being the first inverte marine invertebrate listed uh, as an endangered species, um, and the fact that now there's only a few thousand that are known to be in the wild, and they're too far apart from one another to reproduce successfully, that really they, they will in fact go extinct within 10, perhaps 10 to 15 years if we don't have some sort of program for placing them back out into the wild and trying to restore these populations. Once we do that, they can start reproducing naturally and hopefully we can essentially jumpstart this so eventually they'll spread uh, and, and we won't have to be putting them out in the wild anymore. But if we don't do this, um, I think there's all, all of the population models suggest that they will be completely extinct uh, within 10 to 15 years. White abalone were heavily overfished in the late 60s, early 70s, and it really decimated their populations. I feel like we really have the resources to save this species. I feel like we are really close to being able to outplant animals into the wild, and we've had a lot of success in the last few years. And it's, so it's a really exciting time to be part of this project. We've had a lot of new successes, and I think that we're really at the brink of something that's going to save a species.